everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm unboxing a delivery from Seven Sons and we haven't gotten this in a while, but we're out of their burgers and we love their burgers. Now we did get meat the other day. There's two unboxings this week for that reason. We did get meat the other day from Misfits Market and we tried it. It was good for the price, less than $18 for two portions which is like $9 a steak. We tried the strip steak, $9 a steak. It was pretty good for 100% grass fed meat, but we do really love Seven Sons and we needed some other things from them. So we're gonna get this box open and find out what's inside. Have the dry ice warning safe handling instructions and there's a whole cooler in here wow there is an actual styrofoam cooler in here i don't know how environmentally friendly that is but everything is frozen wow oh wow so I'm a member of the Seven Sons tribe and that costs $49 a year. But when you place an order, you get something for free and you get to choose what it is that you want. I chose halibut on this order. And this is four portions, four large portions of Pacific halibut. Wow. And this comes from the Cannon Fish Company, Seattle or Kent, Washington to be exact. This is wild caught product of the USA and it's best by May 6, 2022. So I have more than a year on this. Not that it's going to take us that long to eat it, but I'm super excited. I mean, this is like almost $40 worth of halibut that I got for free because I joined the tribe. When I saw this, I was super excited. Wow. And then we've got our, oh, these are our favorite. So these are burgers that have uncured pork bacon inside. And each of these has two five ounce patties. I know I can make my own burgers, but you know what? I like burgers better when someone else makes them. And these are super awesome. These are our favorite burgers. And all of this meat is 100% grass fed. And Seven Sons is a family farm out of Roanoke, Indiana. And we've got some more of those burgers. This is the main reason why we placed this order because we were out of burgers. And the ingredients in here, beef, pork with no sulfites, except for those occurring naturally in celery juice or powder and sea salt. The only drawback with these, because there's bacon in it, is that you do have to cook them all the way through. So you can't have a medium burger. You have to cook it to 160 degrees. That's the only drawback, but they taste really good. So that's okay. And then we've got more of the, heat, the burgers with the bacon. Those are our favorite. I'm so glad we have these. What is this? Oh, even more of them. Wow, we did get a lot. We have a flank steak here and we'll, I'll marinate this, we'll grill it, and then we'll slice it with a salad. And another flank steak. This is why Colin wanted this order because we have ribs. He got a new grill and he loves making ribs. And I used to think he was just a bad cook and a bad griller, but I will admit it was the grill, the old grill. Because this grill, everything's come out great. He made a pork sirloin roast last night that I marinated and then he put on the grill while I was working. It was really actually nice to come home to something that was made and I didn't have to do it. And these are two pounds. Uh, a filet mignon here. This is 5.44 ounces. A 
And then we have some uncured hot dogs. These are the beef patties that don't have the bacon in them. This is the gourmet ground beef. Some spicy sausage, because we love their spicy sausage. I like to cook this and serve it with pasta. Just, I make this sausage pasta thing, usually with like broccoli or something. It's really good. And another filet mignon. This one is 7.4 ounces. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the other thing that Colin wanted. A brisket. This is eight, almost eight pounds, seven and a half pounds. This is a very large brisket. Wow. 100% grass fed. Holy tamole. Got some more ribs. These are really thick too. Wow. And some more ribs. He really likes ribs. And I don't normally like ribs, but he made some the other night and I ate them and they were good. more of the spicy sausage and some more of the burgers with the uncured bacon. We have our dry ice at the bottom and some more of the gourmet ground beef patties. So let's take a look at what we ordered and find out what we paid for this. I know you guys are always interested in that. Oh, and if you're interested in trying Seven Sons for their grass-fed beef, heritage pork, and wild-caught seafood, there's a link in the description down below where you can save, I think it's maybe $5 off your first order, but click through that link, give them a try, and you can save. They have some bundles that are really great to get you started. That's how we got started was with a bundle around last Easter. We bought a ham from them last Easter for our Easter ham. And then we also got a bundle and that's how we got hooked on this. But use that link in the description so you can save some money. So we got three of the St. Louis style pork ribs. That was $59.67. We got two spicy sausage. That was $18.66. Two filet mignons. That was $28.76. Two packs of the premium Reserve Gourmet Burgers, that was fifteen sixty four. That's four burgers. Two flank steaks for twenty fourteen. Two packs of hot dogs for nineteen sixty. The brisket, that was very large. It's very large. It's almost eight pounds. That was one hundred and four dollars twenty four cents. And the eight pack of the bacon infused burgers was sixty two fifty nine, and that's for eight. And then the halibut. The four portions of halibut was free. So our total was $329.30. This is a lot of meat. Let me show you because it, it fills up my sink. I'm actually wondering where I'm gonna put all of this meat. I'm not sure I have any room in my freezer. This should be interesting. What do you guys think? How is this value for what I spent for grass-fed beef? from a small family farm and heritage breed pork. What do you think? Is this a good value for what I paid? Have you tried Seven Sons? What did you think of what you got from them? We love it, the flavor, the taste. Although those steaks that we got from Mr. Market the other day were surprisingly good. And we enjoyed them much more than we do beef from the butcher box. And again, we do get other things from the butcher box, but we do not get beef from there anymore because we just don't care for it. Leave me comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are. And remember, I post at least three videos a week, at least one of them, and this week I had two unboxings, but at least one of them every week is an unboxing. And I also have other nutrition, fitness, and figure skating content too. So if you don't wanna miss a video, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll always be notified when I post a new video. 
And if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with somebody else and your friends on social media too. Thank you for watching. This is Amy. I will see you real soon. Bye.